Hey guys, welcome to a new episode with Conflicts. Today we'll be taking a look at Plan 2, a robot that came out a while ago, but is still one of the smallest robots on the market today. Now this here is actually a very popular robot, just because it allows you to fully customize it from the ground up. By customize it, I mean you can actually 3D print your own parts and actually swap them out as you please. Now the model I have here today is actually the fully assembled, most of the, like, their top of the line model that they have on the market. Now this here actually has 18 different joints, which is actually a lot of joints for such a small robot. Uh, most of the ro other humanoid robots we've seen are probably around like 15 or 16. So this actually has a lot of different movements. Uh, in particular, this robot here has the capability of rollerblading as well as roller skating, which we haven't seen in any other robot at all. So I would really like to show that to you in a future video, but for today we'll be taking a look at the robot and its movements, as well as basic functionality such as picking up a box or kicking a ball. So before we do that, let's go ahead and just take a closer look at it and kind of look at the robot itself. All right, so as you can tell, the robot itself looks very friendly. Uh, it's very simple in its actual like structure itself as well as the design. Uh, in the back here, you have the two switches to turn it on. And then over here behind this casing is the battery pack itself. It just literally just clips right in and clips right out. And again, you know, all these are just like a few screws and a few nuts and bolts. Nothing very uh, unique in terms of the build structure itself, but it does have a lot of different movement in it. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on by switching the bolt of the switches on in the back. And now he's in his ready state mode. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the app itself and take a look at that. All right, so our robot is all set and ready to go. And here's the app itself. As you can tell, there's different modes on the top here. So there's a box mode, a soccer mode, dancing, as well as roller skating. So let's go ahead and take a look at the normal mode first. Uh, obviously over here we have the full control over in terms of movement. Uh, and then over here we have the different actions. So there's a side step, there's a walk forward, walk right. Uh, looks like this is a, like different motions. And then if you have another plan too, you can have them hug as well as high five. So let's go ahead and try these out. So uh, this here is a gesture. Uh, this here is going to be a bow. And then here is him making a heart. <laughs> uh, and then if we had another plan too, we can go ahead and click this button here. And this one right here. And then it pretty much allows it to create a hug. And over here is clapping. And then we have high five. <laughs> so uh, you need another plan too for that. Uh, and now we have dancing as well. So uh, he has different motions. So if he goes left or right, he'll dance. So if we go left. And then we have the same right as well as forward. And then we have different dance moves. So let's try this one. All right, then we have this. And then we have this one here. And then we have this. <laughs> and then uh, just the uh, bow once again. Now, uh, there's other, uh, obviously, other different situations where we can do like the roller skating one. Um, you actually have to 3D print out the roller skates and then you just attach to the feet. So I'll be doing that with another f uh, future video for a tutorial. All right, so for the next mode here, we'll go into the box mode itself and click on that. And there's different features where you can pick up a box, you can shake a box, you can hand a box to another plan too, as well as drop it and then just kind of like present it to something. So let's go ahead and try this out. Uh, so I actually made this small little box over here for our Plan 2 robot. And uh, I'm just going to actually have him walk up to it and just have him pick it up. So let's see how this works. Alright, so that's about it. So I'll just go put that right there and then I'll have him pick it up. There we go. So he just picked it up and then you can have him like shake it. Uh, and then I can have him walk around with it as well. Uh, then I can have him like present it. Like, there you go. <laughs> and he just gave it to me. Thank you. And then he can actually grab it for me in like midair. So uh, there you go. 
and then he can actually uh, pass it as well as grab one from someone else. Uh, then you can throw it, so I can have him throw it to the side. <laughs> and then uh, that's about it in terms of the box, which is actually pretty fun to see, you know, just him being able to transport it, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and see if we can actually just have him pick it up and drop it off over here. So let's kind of put it over here and just kind of make a challenge. Um, and we'll put that right there. And then we'll see if he can give it to me in my hand over here. So let's try this out. So I'll first have him walk up to it, I guess. And then I'll have him turn. Okay. And then walk forward, I guess. Alright, so he's not really straight, so let's go and straighten him out. There we go, and let's go off a little bit more up. Okay, and then we'll have him pivot to the right a little bit. A little bit more. And just have him turn a little bit more. Uh, maybe just, then just move forward. All right, so that looks about good right there. So let's have him pick up the box now. All right, so he picked it up and let's have him turn around. And then let's have him bring it to us. And let's just go ahead and give it back to me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now let's go ahead and check out soccer. So I have a ball right here so he can try kicking. So I'll go and leave the ball right there in front of him and uh, well, hopefully it stops rolling, there we go. And then there's different moves as such as uh, him being a goalie, he can move back and forth left and right. And then he can kick as well. So let's go ahead and try having him kick the ball. There we go. <laughs> so that was him kicking. And then uh, there's also, uh, I think might be passing as well, so I'm not exactly sure how that works, but let's try that out. Okay, so that was like a pass. And then he does clap as well. <laughs> so I guess when he gets the goal, he does that. Uh, and then he moves fast too, so that's him moving fast. Now that was actually pretty quick. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how he acts as a goalie. So for instance, if I... Uh, press this button here. He'll actually block to the left <laughs> And then this one this way too So yeah, so he kind of blocks it right there So that's it's pretty fun. So imagining having a bunch of these and having your own team would be a lot of fun So let's see let's see him kick the ball again. I think that's a lot of fun to see So I'll just go ahead and put the ball right over here And then I'll actually have him move to it and see how he does that uh, so Okay, and he's in place, and then let's have him kick with his right foot. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's kick a box and see how that works. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. You know, he has a lot of different functionalities and a lot of different characteristics. Really unique. Alright, well that gives you an idea of what Plantu is about. Obviously it's a really fun robot and it actually has a lot of different potential. Uh, I really want to see the whole rollerblading and roller skating aspect of it, so I'll definitely be 3D printing those for a future video. So feel free to subscribe to see that in the future. Now if you have any questions regarding the robot, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and we'll see you the next time. Take care guys, bye bye!